Durst is the worst. <laughs> Durst the worst, bitch! <laughs> Durst the worst, bitch! Durst the worst, bitch! Durst the worst, bitch! Um, our next speaker is Daryl Maureen. He's the past national vice president for LULAC, Wisconsin. It's a little Cesar Acosta, a nine-year-old refugee from Honduras, who fled after he witnessed his uncle being shot in the head by gang members for not doing something they wanted him to do. Him and his mother sold off what little they had and took that very perilous that very dangerous journey north, hoping to come into those beautiful gates that are supposed to be the United States of America. Instead, he was ripped from his mother's arms. He was held in detention for eight months, most of that time by himself in a cage. He would talk to the other little boys in the cages around him. They called the room the refrigerator because it was so cold. And they only gave him a piece of cardboard box to keep himself warm. He told me how they tried to sleep, but there were no windows in the room. How it was always freezing cold, they called it the refrigerator. They didn't know when it was daytime, when it was nighttime. And those blaring lights always on. All he would get would be a little sandwich and a small bottle of juice every day. Torture. Thanks to some very good people, and I want to acknowledge them, Julie Contreras and her husband Sal, other members. I'm pleased, so pleased to report they now have asylum, and they're here safe. <laughs> Introduced him to Little Roller Thies, who was forced to flee Honduras when he was five years old. His mother made that decision after she finally did what the gang members wanted with her so they would return her child. But that was not the first time they were threatened. Time and time again, they would go to her home, they would accost the kids on the street, and they would hold a pistol to their heads and say, you're going to do what we want you to do or you're going to lose your child today. So to those elected officials who go on TV and say, we're going to make it so bad for them, they want to go back home. We need to tell This is a 
battle we're fighting, not just for Cesar and Mahal, but for the character of our country. The country that always stands up for the weak, who always defends the little guy. We have more voices than they do. Let's make sure that together we do make America great again. A country of love, a country of compassion, where we welcome our neighbor as our children. Thank you all once again. Try, bitch.